I did a video on installing the Win keyless 5 8 inch chuck in my Win drill press. This was the chuck that came with it. But I wanted the quick change capability of the keyless. This is even a faster ratio. This is from fully open to fully closed. This is a seven and a half turn to 11 and a half turn. Quite a difference when you're swapping out a lot of drill bits. Never really paid a whole lot of attention. Uh, never gave it a second thought to the fact that the wind comes even though wind claims this is for the 4225 15 inch variable speed drill press. It is a Morse tapered number two and even though wind says this is a direct replacement and it is it lacks the tang. And where I got in trouble I went ahead and did the install never paid any attention to it. And let me lean the camera over here to the right and you can see right now I lined it up right here. I believe that's where the MT number two probably starts their taper. And right now I'm already about a quarter inch short from exposure in the vertical slots made to use this tool to drive out. This tool is made to engage the tang when you drive it in. And as you drive it, the wedge hits the tang and pops the chuck right out. Works like a dream. So I'm going to insert this back in there and I'll show you what I ran into. Okay, we went ahead and installed the keyless chuck and I'll show you just the way it looked. Let me try to get my light just right where you can see the difference. So what it amounts to, the top of that arbor is right at a quarter inch below the spindle slot. Okay, as you can see, we have a slot, the vertical slot, for the tang removal tool to go into with a wedge shape to it, and then you hit it and it hits the tang and drives it out. The slot on this arbor, this is a 3 8 head bolt, and the, the slot on that is right at 3 8 of an inch. But the inner one is not. It's a little smaller. It's not quite that big. So I found this. So with this hex screw, I went ahead and ground two flats, one on each side, and with needle nose pliers, now you can get it through. It might be hard to see this, but you can imagine what's going on. We're going to stick this through the slots, both of them, through the quill and the spindle, and get it to go down. This will go down through the threaded hole and not damage the threads. It's got enough clearance. Get you some decent needle nose pliers. There. Now we're down in there. Okay, when you get to that point, now you can get a punch down in there. Get you one with a decent taper to it. Get into the hex. Smack it with a hammer. It won't take much. Bingo! Okay, we're back to the original arbor. I just want to show you how much of that tang sticks up in there. That's about three-eighths of an inch, more than enough. So that made me suspicious of the taper. They're both Morse taper number two. This isn't that scientific, but it should be consistent. Now let's do the keyless chuck. You can probably already tell it's not going up as far, which makes matters worse for not having a tang on it. Where the taper ends with this line here on the number four. And you can see where the keyless chuck is sticking down a little further. To me, I think it's about an eighth of an inch. Both Morse taper number twos, they're just not that consistent, but they're close enough. They're going to work fine. So what we're going to do, I didn't point this out. It's threaded. You can see them threads. There you go. So take your handy thread checker. Very handy little item to have in the toolbox. Well, made in China is on the packaging to come on it. So I really thought that would be metric, but after checking, it turned out to be a 3 8 national course or 16 threads per inch. I just have to have some bolts laying around. It's hard to look in there and see the depth of that. Almost an inch and a half. Looks like right at 1 and 7 16 inch deep. I don't care about that. I'm just going to go about an inch deep, put some blue Loctite in it. What I'm going to do now is cut the head of the bolt off, thread that in there and Loctite it, and that's going to be my tang.
Okay, with the head cut off, it's uh, right at an inch and a half long. Put some 242 blue Loctite on it. This one about a half inch sticking out. Okay, we went ahead and just slipped back up in there. It has not been tapped with a hammer. Got plenty above it. Now we get to use the tool that's designed for it. Again, I never tapped it up in there. It's going to work fine. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section. But thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. Have a good one.